Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back, God of War. So, last episode, we, we got the key, finally, to Jotunheim. And it's supposedly like a key to travel in the realm between the realms. So we're gonna try that right now for the first time. See what it does. I think, I think we're gonna be running along the path of the world tree. Instead of hitting another gate, we're gonna jump off. Look at this. Okay, so... The realm between realms. Oh, look at that. It's... We're here. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. The realm between realms. Mystic gateway points. Okay. I might be- I might be wrong. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks. Take the Unity Stone to the precipice. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads. It's been an honor. Have faith, head. Have faith, head. Wow, the kids got to like ride where the axe and the blades are. There's some sharp stuff this there. Is Here incredible. we go. The realm between realms. How can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. The Jotunheim Tower. So before, the, the kid would see visions of the tower, like when we were on the lake, but... Never the actual tower to Jotunheim. Wonder what kind of evils we're gonna face. Is that the Jotunheim's supposed to be the giant region, I believe. But Region of the Giants. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Okay, why are those there? That's not good. Those two things are there. How's my, uh... I'm fully charged on everything. Oh no! It took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. We're gonna bring Something's it back happening. to the lake? Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. I don't think so. Oh, this is considerably worse. Stronger! They're always behind me. Oh, why that's over. Are you okay. Now it's not over. Oh, looks like Alphon. I hear somebody. This is like a a Valkyrie almost, not quite. Hey, there's another one. Uh, I felt 
that one, brother. Yeah, did you? So did I. <laughs> He blocks all my moves. Not all the moves. Whee! Taking us through like different areas, all the different oh, realms no. based off the colors. Back in hell? Oh dear, here they come. It's like it, the t the test is to get through the. What's your name there, Bubba? <laughs> oh yeah, you like that, don't you? Fire them all up! Ooh, you little juggling act. That's enough of that. Can you... Oh, another region. This won't be good. So this is the arena region. Big boy! Ogre and troll. And something else. Troll times lady. Punch him. Oh, I got one punch in. That was it. Hey, rude. You want some? You want some, big boy? I'm not ready. Oh, so blue. You got the thingy? Oh, he does. What up, friend? Huh? That's your head. You got a headache? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Take care of that headache for you. God of War. God of War. You stop. I think it's over. Aye. But where are we? We might be in Jotunheim. You want us to go back out the way we came in, do you? I think so. So it's like the tower itself was kind of a, a realm shifter. Look! We're back in Midgar. There's the bridge! We did it! The tower's back where it belongs! Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. Look at the world serpent up there. Just an outsider with it. Even Tyr tells you just how desperate they were. And look! Now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. True. Right. Last one. All the braziers, please. Look at that. 
Maybe oh, what's that? Legendary Valkyrie. enchantment reduces all damage from Valkyries by 5%? Uh, I need like 15% of those. I need a Valkyries Bane, huh? I tell you, I need something to help me with those Valkyries. They're no joke. Alright, so I think we have... Yeah, we have all the braziers lit, which are these things. <laughs> World Serpent up there. What are you doing, little fella? Alright, I wonder if there's anything down there. I doubt it. These are all... This was just an area you could tell that something was supposed to be here, but it wasn't here. <laughs> Look at him up there. Little fella! Dun, 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 dun. So we're gonna go back into... What's weird is it wants us to go back into the travel room, but it's right there. Hmm. Magical mystery tour. Let's get it going. These guys got anything to say? And you just come by looking to see if they're if they've got the triangle on there. See if they got something to say, like some mission quest idea. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. Oh. Okay. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Kill the ravens before we go? Because in here, man, they're still... A lot of ravens. Weapons. I like the one I've got. This one's okay. What's this one do? More stun damage. No, I like the full damage. And this one here, I really like Prometheus Flame. Because it, it attacks multiples, and they don't have to be like within the area of the two... Of that V-notch there. So this is... Burn and three dam... All burn, three damage. And this one is more damage and stun. Yeah, I like the burn damage because I can use it on the bigger... Um, bigger things. Well, he said... Talked about Odin's ravens, but I, I can't... I'm not going to go around for ten hours looking for the rest of those ravens. There it is, Jotunheim. This is it. Here we go. Hold Man, on, with all these this isn't going to work. What? Why? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. Well, let's put his head in. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot. For years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and oh. Sindri. All right. Brock and Sindri, huh? Maybe they do have an adventure for us after all. Search for the Eye of Mimir. So we're probably back in Midgard. Hey guys, question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... He wanted me to build a... He showed it to me, you see, and I... The coin... Sorry, will you excuse me? Well, that was useless. 
You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of box speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The <laughs> statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we gotta we can't kill the snake, yeah. right? We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. <sighs> Return oh, to the serpent's horn of Midgard. Now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the bus. And what's more to the horn? Oh, did he just say So we might be at the end? We might be at the he just said make sure your gear is good. Did he not? You guys hear that? All right. So first off, let's look at my gear. So I'm using the mist armor. Um, we have to go to. We have to go to the upgrades. Usually, when the the game tells you that, it's like. Point of no return sure, almost. Alright, so wrist armor. There's the braces of the world serpent. Now to upgrade this, I need greater crest of flame and more mist echoes. I don't know where to find the greater crest crest of flame. But I definitely need a lot of mist echoes. Chest armor. Same thing, Mist Echoes and then Haze Weave. And I think the Haze Weave is found in where the Mist Echoes are. The Smoldering Ember I got from um, from the Arena area. And then Waste Armor. Oh. Is my Waste Armor upgraded all the way? Must be. So haze and mist echoes, mist echoes and greater crests of flame. Uh, man, I think that those those are probably found in where that Valkyrie is. I might need to defeat that Valkyrie to get that. And I'm not ready. I can't figure out how to beat the Valkyries. Blades of chaos. I need a chaos flame. Uh, I think the axe is. Upgraded all the way. Blades pommel. I think the pommel's upgraded. And I've got a good talisman. I like... Move so the talisman... The talisman... We might need to go... Hmm. I'm trying to think. I, I wish I knew where to find those. The chaos flame. Maybe I'll just I'll show you guys because I need some mist echoes anyway. I'm gonna show you guys what um, what the area is where I was fighting. It's very strange. It's a timing thing and a resetting thing and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, all right, Vanheim. I think it's Nilfheim that we have to go to. Jotunheim, Alfheim. Helheim. Odin has prevented access to this realm. So there's two realms. Asgard. Nilfheim. That's the one. So this one here is the arena fights, which I did all of them except for the last one. And then this one here. We'll go over here now. So there's in, in the area, there's this mist. And the mist starts this countdown timer. <clears throat> So you can only be in the mist so long. When you open a chest, it, it gives you a little bit of extra time. But basically, you're on a time limit. If you get killed before you get out of the mist, everything that you collected during that trip is gone and lost. Which is bad. So you gotta kind of farm for these mist echoes. But the best way to get them is to kind of try and make your way all the way around. And every time you go to a new area, 
there's all these new battles that you gotta do, and in between the areas there's these traps. So it's very, very, uh... You could just play it, play it safer and stay in the first area, I'll show you. But you only get like 200 or 300 mist echoes at a time doing that. Let's see if they have anything to say, no, nope. alright. Hopefully I'm in the right region. I think I am. Yeah. Okay, so nil fine. So you see right here, I'm fine. See the mist right here? Watch. That timer will be going the whole time you're in the mist. And then when you come out of it, it resets. But when you're down in there, you're in it. You're in it to win it till you come back out. Now, again, if you get knocked down or killed, uh, it takes everything that you've collected and basically resets it all. Supposedly, the realm tears contain some kind of terrible secret Ivaldi wanted hidden. But who knows, really? Dwarves are strange. And yes, I realize I'm a dwarf. Okay, so this is the area out here. <clears throat> now, the way it's laid out is um, is basically kind of like a almost like a diamond formation, right? So you got the, the center area, then you can go off to the right. Or you can go off to the left and then one in the middle. But then there's these two special areas to go to. And that's where you get uh, the better stuff. The area, if you go to the right and find it, it's usually trolls or those, uh, those traveler guardians. If you go to the other one, it's a Valkyrie and I can't beat the Valkyrie. Now, I've beat the the mist one, the uh, troll one multiple times. Then you gotta make your way back. Now watch. So as soon as you pop into the, this is the first area. You gotta defeat all these guys. Well, I mean, you can run by them if you want, but there's little chests in each area that you need to collect. guy doing over there? He's gonna launch something at me? Did you see that? You on fire, friend! That guy's pissed. Alright, now I cleared this area. Okay, so you got chests here to get. You can see the timer is going the whole time up top. Got this chest, and it's random. Every time you come back, it resets the enemies and and chests. Resets everything. This chest here changes every time you come in, and they are spread all around, so it's so hard to get that one because I ran out of time. Now, in these, sometimes you, you can look, and you can see little areas. Like that thing, right there. The more chests you collect, the more you get. Okay. Now this is a safe area between the two. Then as you go this way, there'll be a, this is another corner up here. You can see it says I'm. I have 380 mist echoes right now, but if I die, I'll lose them. Going ham bone on him. Alright, so now I got this area. Now, that first area I came to, there's an area in the middle that you can run up and bank your stuff. And it's where the realm tears are. Realm tears. Tears, tears. Okay. Another 
chests in here. And sometimes these guys will drop stuff. You gotta look and see if there's any little doorways that you need to get to in here. Don't see any. So this is another little safe zone here. Now if you go that way, the Valkyrie's over there. The Valkyrie's over here, and I've I haven't I haven't even tried beating the Valkyrie because I can't. I know I can't. I've got to f practice on one of the other ones. There's like seven or eight Valkyries around too. So I'm not even going to go that way, but we're going to continue. We're going to try and go all the way around the horn here. I do not like these things either. Ah, that's why, because I can never see that poison coming. I used everything I got to get through here. that one Woo. and remember all those missed echoes that you see if I get killed they're gone they are gone look around for any chests you don't want to miss any chests all right we gotta keep going around Okay, so in that one side I showed you is where the, the Valkyrie is. This other side here is like, it's random trolls, tra I call them travelers. The dudes with the big swords and the and the armor. I forget what they're called. Ch gate, gate traveler, traveler, guardians. Okay, here's this. There's one. There's one. There's one. <laughs> Now doing this takes time, which... Ah, darn it. Got it anyway. What did we get? Some mist echoes. Okay, now in here is where the troll is. Just don't know if I have enough time to actually fight it. And get back out. Going for it. It can be a number of different enemies in here. I don't no no no. Witchy witchy. little troll. Did you just get owned? Gotta hurry up and finish these dudes off. Okay, there's that. Ooh. 
Now, as you as you go back and like say I make it back, it kind of resettle this stuff when I get epic anchor of fog. So that right there, the anchor of fog, is one of the main things you need to open up the tears, tears, tears. I got one before. That's only my second one after spending a few hours in here. Near, 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 near. Now, again, you're going to see when we go back, hopefully we don't die, because we've, we've got actually a lot of missed echoes. Hopefully we don't die. If we make it back, um, I'm going to bank all of these things, and it's going to reset. We can go around and actually do this whole thing again. Now, there'll be some here. I don't have time to mess around. I gotta like get rid of these things now. Ah, shoot. Should have known better not to go after that thing like that. Okay, that was pretty good. Now, I know it's hard to see, but I basically made a kind of a, a diamond-shaped circle all the way back around. I've got two more sets of traps to go through, and I'll be back at that starting area. And I'll show you where we go up in to bank all this stuff. So we got... Wow, that that one trip around is 4,000. It's pretty good. And that's the way to do the best kind of if farming. You know, if you're gonna you're gonna farm to try and get mist echoes and anchors of fog and and all the other stuff you need, not only to upgrade your armor or to to get the armor initially and upgrade it, um, but also to open up these these uh, realm tears. This is the most I think this is the most mist echoes I've ever got. Was making my this lap all the way around. Now that's just the area we first dropped into, I'll show you. Now they shouldn't spawn back here because I basically cleared the whole area except for the Valkyrie. So see, this is where we first started. Now, we came in from up there. This area here. Go up here. The mist armor, by the way, uh, slows down that timer. So that's basically why I built it and upgraded to begin with. Fast. There, so we just banked almost 6,000 uh, mist echoes and one anchor of fog, okay? So, and in here, you're not in the mist. When I first came in here, there's all these chests to grab, basically giving you some mist echoes to start with. And then there was these other chests back here, like this one. So this, if you look at this, it needs 7,500 mist echoes to open this chest, and it's supposed to give you... You know, random legendary loot. I already spent it on this one. I think this was a 5,000. Um, then I did this one and this one. So I've spent a lot. Now, these here... See, it says it's locked. So I have two anchors of fog now, which I had none for the longest time. I got one you saw. I just got another one. You need one anchor to get in here, plus 10,000 mist echoes. You got to clear this one. You got to clear this one, which is 20,000. And then this one, 15,000. Okay, so it goes 10, 15, 20. You'd need one more anchor and all those mist echoes. So... Here's the thing, to, op to open these up, well, it's not necessary, I don't think, but I think that you have to kill that Valkyrie over there. Like, I, when I went in and killed the troll, the only area I didn't go in in this whole Invaldi's workshop, this area is called Invaldi's workshop, the only area I didn't go to was the one where there's a Valkyrie. Because I can't figure out how the heck to stop all those crazy moves. But now, now that I came in here, right, and banked this stuff, you you can go right back down. You see you're jumping back into the mist. And when you go out here, everything's reset. So this is how you farm. I would go back through, basically, and 
you know, do what I just did. I wasn't, I wasn't doing that. I was kind of just farming this area. But that gives you way more if you can, if you can do it, if you can loop through there like that. My cooldowns, my cooldowns are up pretty good where I can use this, <clears throat> use my stuff like in this area and then move on and by the time I get to the next area they're pretty much ready. The only thing that hasn't reset for a long time was once this chest here appeared. So you'd have to basically jot that down because if I go up and bank this and come back those three things will change. Those three things are somewhere spread throughout that whole area I just went. Now it's usually you get access to like two chests. I only got one chest there so you'd kind of want to go look to see what what's over here should be a chest and those things will insta kill you by the way you can go e you can go either direction as far as uh, around the whole thing goes and this is a little like say safe area. when I say safe area, I mean no one spawns in here Oh, it's on the other side. Now they catch them all on fire. Dang poison. These are like one of my huge nemesis, these things. Do not like those poisons. I'd rather fight the big boss guys than these guys. Ah, just it just non-stop hitting you. They almost got me killed. You see how hard they are? And they're just right here. This isn't even like supposedly the hard area. And the harder area. I Jeez Louise, dude. Not doing any damage on him. They are stronger than normal, it seems. Look at that. You don't look too good. Dude, seriously? Oh my god, these guys are gonna kill me. These guys are gonna kill me! I cannot dodge away from this stupid stuff! They're not being affected by the bow! The deuce, dude. That didn't work so good. Oh, no way! Oh my god, I hate those things. Those are the worst for me. Like, everybody's got their nemesis creatures, right? Those stupid things right there. Because that poison comes from all directions and it tracks it doesn't go in a straight line it actually tracks you now you get to see so i died it took away what i collected right just right there okay and it reset me back into here now if you got like six thousand mist echoes and maybe an anchor of fog like i had last time and you die gone gone you have to go back and take the chance of finding it again you know by looting and looting and looting Man, I do not like those things. I don't even know, like, if they're considered the hard ones. Like, seems like they're they're bringing some harder creatures in now with what... The kid doesn't come out for a while. He stays back up in there, which is kind of a pain in my butt. See, he's back inside there. I need him out here to shoot. Pissed. He's pissed. And he's done. Yeah, see, sometimes it feels like they... 
Because it's it's random what comes out. Oh, and by the way, the traps in between the areas change every time as well. Everything resets. The enemies, the chests, the traps, everything. But this area in Valley's Workshop is basically a farming simulator, right? You got to farm and farm and farm until you got the... Now, I've got enough stuff to actually upgrade my armor. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Any, there's something right there. The more chests you get along the way, the more precious stuff, more loot you might get. <clears throat> I do not like those stupid, whatever they are, the, the poison wrath throwers. Now, I think that those things to that, it's the, the type where you have to turn, um, you have to change that chest that's in there. You have to, like, change what... Uh, Uh, pretty, some of these things are pretty tough. Come on, bad boy. Come on, big boy. All right. Just please. So I I did this for a long time, like hours. But again, I wasn't making this loop around like I'm doing right now. I would just stay in the regular area because you could get you could get enough chests for like maybe 500, and then go back in there and and. Um, Bank that in and be good to go. So here's another one of these. There's one there. One there. <clears throat> one way up there. Holy cow. See, right now I'm just burning that... Miss time. Yeah, yeah. All right, what do we get? Miss Deco's perfect artifact of the black. Now, again, in there is the Valkyrie, so we'll go this way. And somewhere along this path, maybe in by the Valkyrie, might be uh, one of the answers to that, that chest by me. Oh, there's one of them right there. You see the spinner up there? Right up there? Right there. That's one of them. Oh, they're definitely sending in harder enemies. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, son. See, these enemies here might not be, like, any easier or harder than those other ones, but to me, that, that one with the poison is way harder. Grab our chest from here. Now on the way back this other way, we've got that little troll type area and then one more area like this to get back to the beginning.
You see, it's like these here. I don't. I don't know. I didn't look at the thing, so I don't know what the what the pattern is. But that's one of them right there. That's one of the things. I guess I could just take the time to go around and do that, but I'd have to like quickly write down whatever it is. So here's where the the troll area is. away from my move. This must be the the boss for this area this time. Not ready. Okay. Got him, coach. I bet you if I could go around and actually clear the the Valkyrie one. Oh, another anchor of fog, dude. That's all three that I need. I need to be able to bank this thing, man. Look at that. Only one chest in this area. I got that anchor of fog. Sometimes they put the chest in here close. I've had good stuff and I ran into these stupid things and killed myself. I've got one more area up here to clear. Right here. Mimir's good at doing the whole behind you thing. These guys are crafty. Heading to a mist free area. Okay. Wait, I opened these chests already? Oh shoot, did I go the wrong Oh my god, I don't know where I'm at. I don't remember opening these chests. Oh no, I don't know where I'm at. Oh, I made it. What? I don't... Did I go that way then the other way maybe? I don't know, that's weird. Didn't seem like that area reset. Okay, so we banked all those mist echoes and we got the third anchor of fog, which is good. That means now we have enough anchors to actually do these. But <laughs> the thing is, like, it's going to take all the mist echoes and I might get owned. Or do I upgrade my armor or do I get this? This is 7,500. I can actually, let's just open it. Mm -hmm. 
we get? Blight Guard, Epic Blade Pommel, low perk activation chance to strike with an explosive curse that inflicts weakness to enemies on any successful hit. Now, the thing that sucks is the pommels that I have now are pretty good and I've uh, upgraded them fully, but that's that's like legendary loot right there. So now I don't have enough to upgrade my armor. I'd have to do a couple more laps around because my armor was like 4,000. I didn't see any haze weave. You know what? Before we go. So after all this, if you don't know what you got, what you need, whatever, you can always just go right back up here. Do this area here real quick and go right up to uh, in Valdi or, uh, to Brock. See, so this thing resets every time. So I may have, I saw that one and I hit it, but it doesn't mean I did anything. And as soon as I bank that, those echoes, um, it resets. All right, so that's that. We could go get that other one, but I just want to show you guys. You can come up here now. Same thing. He's right up there, just under that crest. And it'll, it'll bank your echoes for you, save everything that you've got right there. And then you can go and kind of see where you're at. Need a fresh upgrade before tackling the realm tears? Yeah, Not that I, I do. Such an action, okay, you. so for the chest armor, I don't remember if we had haze weave or not, but I, I don't I don't know if I found any. But it says I've got two of five. So while if the haze weave is in here, which I think it is, you just got to keep going and going and going till you do. The good thing is when you're doing that, you're getting the mist echoes that you need. And then randomly you're gonna find the anchors uh, of fog and the haze weave. So I need more of that. Wrist armor, I need... Oh, you know what that means. Okay, so chest armor, it still has two more upgrades. Wrist armor has one more upgrade, which is 4,000, but I gotta find where to get greater crest of flame. And then waist armor is done. Blade pommel. So this thing, in comparison to what we have okay what I have now is legendary low perk activation chance to plant a three second delayed firebomb on enemies with any successful blade hit it's got really high runic but everything else is way lower and that's at max that's at max upgrade this one low perk activation chance to strike with an explosive curse that inflicts weakness. So those, when it says low, there's low, medium, high chance that that randomly happens. But what you want to look at is is up top. What are you building toward? You know, obviously this one is going to build higher on strength, defense, and vitality, and no runic at all. Where the other one was no defense and vitality, but high on the runic. So it's something to look at. And this takes mist echoes to upgrade. And there's two upgrades. It looks like if it's just the alloy, I'll have enough alloy. Hmm. On those Upgrade that. And we'll equip it. So, oh no, look at the next upgrade needs haze weave. Great. So, yeah, I'll have to look and see. Something else to tell you. But you don't remember what it is, right? <laughs> He always says that, but he forgets to tell me. So I'm going to look up and see where to get the Haze Weave and the Crest of Fire. Um, might need to... I wanted to show you guys this area for sure. Uh, but again, this area here is... That's about it. That's all I need to show you. Because that's all it is. Other than when I'm ready to go and probably try and take on the Valkyrie. Or take on those Realm Tears, right? Then it'll be some epic battle. But other than that, this is a farming area. And the... the um, the, f the lava area, which I don't know how to pronounce, is um, this area here. Muspelheim. Muspelheim is uh, arenas. So I cleared five out of six arenas. 
The last one is a Valkyrie. <laughs> so, all right, a little bit longer episode for you guys there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're probably getting pretty close to the end, I would imagine. I know some of you guys, if you're probably not even here, but you're looking forward to some other games. But I appreciate everyone who's followed along this. It's a great game. I really enjoy playing it. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next episode.